Hello everyone and welcome to Dark Kings TV, your home for everything entertainment. Before you do any other thing, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell that is behind the subscribe button that is the red bell button you can see. That is going to notify you of our fresh updates. To continue to be a part of this community, please engage with our content by dropping a comment or two. Like and share everything you see from our end. We will be glad you do so. Veteran actor Claire Mohamese tears up as he gets gifted 8 million naira by a pastor. Guys, welcome to this channel. Let's talk about how and why Claire Mohamese got gifted 8 million naira by a pastor Omoto Fofe of um, a church in Wari State. He owns the Christ Merciland Deliver Deliverance Ministry. He gifted Claire Mohamese. 8 million naira to assist with his surgery. Now, Clem Mohammed a few days ago came on social media, uh, BBC specifically, to ask for assistance from Nigerians because he needs to undergo a surgery for his cervical vertebrae. According to him, he needs to regain control of his limbs, which had been affected by an accident he had in the past. He said the vertebrae 3 and 4 needs to be surgically worked on. Then Pastor Jeremiah you know, invited him to his church and then he took to Facebook to share photos of the moment the cash gift was presented to Clem or Hamize and it was reduced to sharing, shedding tears like a child. Because and of course that gesture is a little bit not expected. Prophet Jeremiah is, this is not the first time he would do things like this. He always gifts and that is one of the major controversies this man has found himself in. His church was established in 2010, the 2nd of April, and has been criticized for his loud acts of charity and also for his very public and showy focus on demons and deliverance in his ministry. During the COVID-19 pandemic, this pastor donated about 300 million naira to staff, to members of his church and to Nigerian government. He returned their fights and offerings and said it was time to give back, you know. So this is not the first time he would do something like this. Clem is when he came to say, oh, I need money, he decided to help him. In the pictures they shared, he shared one where he was holding the man. He shared one where the, the cash, you know, was cash prize was cash gift was displayed. And people were like, Oh, this money, this cash, this words of cash is definitely not up to eight million naira. But I mean, it's not your business. If they say it's eight million naira, it's eight million naira. If and they might not be displaying all of the cash because I mean, why why would you bring eight million? I actually expect to see some check or something. But then he brought cash to church to give to Clem and it was in tears. Some um Northern Hollywood actors went with him to the church and you know they posed for photograph, which just you know helped him. Now Clem Mohammed said that he had treated this situation before when the accident happened. But the beginning of it, that was just the beginning of it, and he's had to constantly, constantly, you know, treat it and do something about it. This time, he needs to undergo a critical surgery that has put his career and everything he has to do to a halt. Now, if you're wondering how this man got into it, Clem Mohamese is about 56 years old, you know, and he's had a career that has spanned over 20 years. Started acting in 1995, but it was in 1998 when he featured in. Um, endless game that is career to boom boom it just skyrocketed end time rather that was when his career skyrocketed but then between 2006 and 2010 Claire Mohammed is a post acting because he wanted to go into politics and that was where the problem started for him because he contested you know for the federal constituency and um, for the federal house of representative on the platform of PDP People's Democratic Party in 2007 but then it had to stop because there was threat to his life and that was where he was involved in this accident in fact his car was attacked and his cousin was shot and killed during the incident so of course he treated it he was able to treat it he had enough money to treat it and all that then but somehow the situation just never went away they actually relocated to london when that happened london united kingdom and he wanted to contest in the 2015 general elections but for some reason he did not and honestly this man has not returned to limelight because his last major acting was in 2010 when he featured in ej the journey alongside genevieve naji and omotola jalade ikende and this movie you know was very much 
accepted he won different awards that was when he returned shout his return after 2010 2015 he wanted to go into politics and really we've not really seen much from claire mohamizi until now his other colleagues that they rose to limelight together and they were in the same carcass or they featured in the same type of movie i'm talking about kanayo ho kanayo pito doshi has retired now you know one of them is even dead one of the where guy is dead now but um they are doing well for themselves the one that are still here with us are doing well for themselves so it's just a little bit some of that claim of is in this situation that he's found himself in because people are saying what happened um when it was in his youth and he was making a lot of money as a you know as a younger buddy in nigeria in the nollywood space and somebody saying okay how is it that these veterans these um yeah people that have been there for a long time are unable to foot their bills especially when it comes to medical bills but the young ones are suddenly have so much wealth that they can afford to buy the latest cars and all that and people are saying oh it's because they what, what they prioritize when they are in their prime and making all the money and i feel like um for me it's probably um not seeing not having a lot of foresight and seeing into what can happen tomorrow i feel like that for me could be the reason because anything could happen to anybody and you're just one sickness away from depleting all of your savings honestly regardless of whatever you'd sell and sell and sell and i hope we don't ever find ourselves in such position anyways guys claire mohamese has accepted its millionaire cash gift from prophet jeremiah on motorful fei whose church is located in Wari Delta State. In fact, this man has been regarded because of his philanthropic art and his deliverances and kind of messages he preach. He's been regarded as a Niger Delta TB Joshua, as Wari TB Joshua and a lot. But this man has said, no, don't ever refer to me as that. I will know this man, the late Professor TB Joshua. I respect him, but I am not him. But then at the point he was quoted to have called himself the first son of TB Joshua, although he denied that claim and said he would never say something like that and that he never said something like that like that anyways guys let's talk about clem or hamese meanwhile this man is married this jeremiah man is married to an Antonia Fufei and they have five children together. Now, Claire Mohamese, like I said, has been acting since 1995 and his career has spanned over 20 years. He was born on the 27th of June 1965 in Port Accord, Rivers, Nigeria. He attended, he attended the Holy Family College for his secondary education. Then he moved to the Institute of Management Technology in Enugu, Nigeria, where he secured an ONO and Ordinary National Diploma in Mass Communication. Then he went to the University of Port Harcourt and he graduated with a BSc in Sociology and Anthropology in 1989. For his master's degree, this man is well read. He attended the Buckingham University, London in 2010 and he got a master's in Preventive and Social Medicine. Um, is a member of the actors guild of nigeria and people are asking what is this association doing for him because you know when people come and say oh they feel like nollywood or something should have an as an industry should have an association that would try and put policies or things into place to ensure that these people in their old age actually do not have to come to nigerians to say please help me you know uh, but there's, there's this association the actors guild of nigeria they have a chairman they have a president you know and they have meetings with politicians and it's like what are you guys doing for yourselves as a body rather than you know beef yourselves over who's going to lead who and have different sectors and factors and you know groups in the industry so to say but i really i'm not about to dwell on that guys the main thing is just that he's been gifted its millionaire and i hope that after this surgery is going to recover very well you know and is going to regain his health and he would be able to be useful to himself and to the society at large because we need the claim of her music bag, the beautiful man who can take any very versatile. One minute is a fetish person, the next minute is a pastor, the next minute is a lover boy, the next minute is a chief. You know, Claire Mohamese gave us a lot of versatility, versatility as an actor. And if you do not know what I'm talking about, when you see me and you do not, in fact, in the comment section, be put, be calling me mad. Just they put some respect. <laughs> just joking though but really these men gave us i mean clem and his groups these they gave us a lot of fun you know fun childhood moments and that is what we those movies are what we refer to now as the old movies the old nollywood you know when times were good and you know we reminisce on them nowadays anyways guys let me know what you think in the comment section send your loves and prayers to clem ohamese and his family and also send your love to prophet jeremiah for fame for gifting this man this amount of money especially in an economy like nigeria <laughs> what we are going through at the moment <laughs>
it's not easy on anybody well it's going to be easy on some people it is easy on some people it is easy on us i'll see you in the next video though guys subscribe to this channel i will give you updates on what's up with clem Hamize as you know we get update reports concerning his health and his surgery i hope he gets successful turn on notification bell so you do not miss uploads when i give you these kinds of gist and also share this video to show that you like it it's totally free to do give it a thumbs up guys and i will see you definitely in the next video until then people take care of yourself take care of your health take care of your loved ones and bye have a good day have a good night whatever time you're watching this video <laughs>